Now, 2022, let's take July 9th, like today, uh, we know what happened. Uh, the entire presidential palace was stormed, people went in. Uh, what the, but the images that went around the world was, you know, jumping into the swimming pool, people are having a good time at the presidential palace, not understanding the fact that the presidential palace is maintained by their own tax uh, rupees. Uh, that kind of uh, uh, event occurred. Since then, the country went through uh, step by step certain stages. The biggest issue here was the economy. Economic collapse in 2022 was the reason for all these issues. What is your take since the, uh, then to now? Is the business community, as a member of the business community, are you happy with the progress that is made? Do you think we are heading the right way? Thank you, Mahesh. I think the way I look at it, we can't just look at the present and the future without having a good understanding of the past. Okay. Now, we are a country that we embroiled in a civil war for 30 years. We managed the economy. Right or wrong with the pluses, minuses, there was a, the, the minus growers still we manage. And we didn't have this kind of upheavals coming up. And then, if you look at how these things have happened in the world, I take you back to 2009, the Arab Spring hmm. that erupted in Egypt, where the social media played a major role in the regime change, which was captured by the, the mass media globally, which finally spread to Tunisia and other surrounding countries, and finally for the, to Libya, mm. which was at that time a very successful country, very prosperous country, a strong leader, though he was a dictator. And then finally he was eliminated, bodily eliminated. I think some of the, one of the, uh, they call it the eighth wonder of the world, yeah. the man-made great river, which had cost I think $25 billion at that time, was virtually bound by uh, NATO and other forces. The Western forces. Western forces. And then today we know where Libya is. So this is something our country also should have taken into our you know, knowledge to see a thing like that should never happen in our country. And we know since the completion of the, the civil war in 2009, so many opportunities we had to resolve the ethnic crisis. Yeah. I think people got, you know, elated by the war victories and didn't do the right things at the right time. And there was, it was like a, a, a smoldering ember uh, waiting to, you know, erupt at some point. So what we saw in uh, last year, July, was a net result of some of these angers coming out onto the street. Uh, which was originally started at the economic hardship, shortage of, uh, uh, you know, the fuel, shortage of gas, and the prices going up. Then it was hijacked by various forces exactly. uh, with vested interests. Now, if you look at 2020 and 2021, the entire world was engulfed with the COVID pandemic, and the, the borders were shut. This, uh, the supply chain was totally disrupted. I think uh, freight rates went to 10 times more than what it was normally. Globally, the economy was suffering, including the great nation, what we call uh, America. Yeah. And they started printing money. I think today the biggest borrow in the world is also America. The inflation is really high. Inflation is high. The biggest borrow in the world is America. Of course, from their system, from the bonds. I think they have about 7.6 trillion bonds of other countries on these oil, petrodollar bonds. They're borrowing. I think of which uh, China has about 1.6 trillion in those bonds. So, though we are not aware or though we are not talking about it, they're also a big borrower. So, it was not only limited to Sri Lanka. Now, similarly, even Bangladesh had the same problems. Pakistan is still having problems. Yeah. So we, I believe it was a 
a similar situation, not exactly identical to yeah. Arab we, Spring. We, we, we know now. Uh, we, we, we should have. We should have known that this could happen to our country, right? And but I think I don't think our forces, especially intelligence units, were aware of what's happening, or they didn't know what's happening. That is a thing that or they knew puzzles they me. Point. Why a duly elected president by a vast majority? in office for two and a half years or less than that and also amidst all these problems was driven out virtually they were actually trying to assassinate him how did this happen and what was the reason we are still waiting for the answers exactly from the authorities as to what went wrong what happened how did it happen why it was not controlled or prevented I think uh, it is incumbent upon our former president also to come out. He has not still. He has not addressed. so far. He has not said anything for him also to come out and say what he knows about it. So leaving that aside, our country was shut down for nearly six months. When the country is shut down for six months, our meagre uh, import revenues just dried up, and the people who came during the COVID to get free treatment in Sri Lanka by plane loads from all over the world and they were looked after by our country under the former president's leadership. Free medicine, free accommodation, free food, they went back because their countries were not looking after them where they were working. <laughs> right. And then a message was sent to them, don't send money to Sri Lanka. So these, I feel, the people who did this, I think they were part of a, for me, part of a conspiracy. Why do you forget about the politics? Why do you want to attack your own country? Don't send money. And then, and then say, shut the country. Why do you want to shut the country? Then say, declare bankruptcy. So this way, I think it's important for us to understand this. Now, how can we call our countries bankrupt? I yeah. don't believe in that. Because now if you take a, company, establishment, institution, where do we sign off in annual report? Where do we sign off? Not on the cash flow, not on the PNL, we sign off on the balance sheet. So have we taken into account the balance sheet of our I country? I, I want to. It is a very rich balance sheet we have. 